What's good, YouTube? It's your man, CJ Kyle's checking in once again, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse. Back with another video. Thank you for joining me. Um, and at this point, these videos are pretty much starting to become almost like journal entries because some days I really don't have nothing to talk about other than what's going on in the shift. And, um, you know... It is what it is, but today is not one of those days, but I do make these videos uh, personally for me and for you if you guys get something out of it, but more so I do it for myself because I, I feel like it's important to, to uh, record certain milestones in your life and uh, places where you were because I think when you do hit the pinnacles that you want to reach, you can have these times to look back on and just remember where you were right in the middle of the grind, right in the middle of the struggle or whatever you may be going through. And then when you finally become successful, you have these memories to look back on. At least that's why I do it. You can live pretty well by yourself. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I really do want to start getting back to the live streams. Um, my plan is to start doing those next Saturday. Um, I think I'll work next Saturday But I, I want to start doing those sometime next week Yeah, I want to start doing those sometime next week Get back to the to the live stream shows um, Talking about nursing Because there's a lot still going on in nursing So I'm uh, going to get back to that next week Also going to get back to my, pod, my, my regular podcast Where we talk about things that's going on in the world So y'all be on the lookout for that Um but man, 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 the more I start to work, well, not the more, I work a lot anyway, but just the more that I see and the more that I, you know, see how things are run in facilities and uh, especially like uh, skilled nursing facilities, it is not enough money in the world. And I do mean there's not enough money you can pay me to be a DON, a unit manager, an assistant manager, whatever kind of management position. It's not enough money. It's really not to go through the stress, the headache, the irritation, the excuses, the problems, the complaining, the whimpering, um, the unhappiness, the emotional unstableness, the mental illness that some of these, uh, your workers and your employees have. Now, I'm not having any crazy experiences here, but yesterday, a coworker of mine was stuck for 16 hours. Um, she was talking about how she had to go and work her job in the morning, and she was stuck for 16 hours. Uh, she was only supposed to work a six-hour shift, and it turns into 16. And I do notice that sometimes these schedulers be playing games because they be knowing certain people not going to come in. And then when it's time for that person to go, they be trying to call. Nobody answers the phone. And the nurse who was stuck for 16 hours, she didn't want to call the DON. I would have been blowing up the DON's phone because it's time for me to go. It's your job to come in the building. That's what you sign up for. This is what you sign up for when you take those positions, when you take those unit manager jobs, when you take that DON job or the A9 job. I'm cool on that, bro. I want to get in, get out, make my money on to the next day on vacation again. It is not, and let me say this. Shout out to all the wonderful DONs in the world. Shout out to all the wonderful ADONs. Shout out to all the unit managers that really does a thorough job and really wants to see their team win. I'm not invested enough. And I can admit that about myself when it comes to nursing. Like, I'm not invested enough in this career to be a leader of a whole team. You feel what I'm saying? I I could do a management position if it was something that I was running that was my own. Like if I ran my own clinic, if I ran my own like group home, 
if it was something that was a business of mine, then I wouldn't have an issue with running it or being a manager or whatever the case may be. It is just hard for me to fathom having to deal with the BS that they go through. And um, it, it's not its not mine. It's not my company. Um, I'm probably salary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. And again, shout out to all of y'all that can do it. I'm not knocking it. I don't think it's anything wrong with it. It's just not for me. I see how stressed out some of these unit managers be. I see how stressed out how some of these uh, these ADONs and DONs be, and these administrators, especially when the state is about to come to do the annual survey. And little fact, I've never, let me knock on wood, but little known fact, I, I've never uh, been in the building. No, yes, I have. I'm about to get up here and lie to y'all. I've been in the building when State was in the building, but it wasn't at a facility that I was staffed at. It was an eight. I was an agency nurse, so I was per diem that day. I just came in for the day, and the staff was, and the state was in the building. I don't remember if it was for the state survey or if somebody called and complained to the state. But regardless, I happened in the building. But nerves be on ten when they know the state about to be in the building coming up. Boy, them be the cleanest you ever seen them nursing homes. With the clean, fully staffed, everybody on deck, everybody willing to help. But boy, as soon as the state leaving it's over with, back to back to the <laughs> back to the BS as usual. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Y'all know I am telling the truth. So um people be walking by looking in the window while I'm recording they probably be like what is this doing <laughs> but yeah bro um, I just I couldn't do it man I could not do it not not in this nursing home not in the hospital I, I, I'm not invested enough to be in nurse management I am not invested enough to be in nurse management and I don't think there's anything wrong with that I, I really just want to get in and get out and I understand that as a as a charge nurse as an LPN you are a supervisor right so I get that you I mean that just comes with the job but that's different than being an ADOM because as a LPN you delegate task to your seniors and you know you are initially the supervisor on the shift, but that is totally different uh, from being a person who is a DON of the whole facility. Like, I, I don't, I ain't trying to be waking up in the morning to come in, because if I was the DON, that's what I would do. You know, I'm not trying to come in when it's super, super short. It's the holiday, no, no. And I know a lot of y'all feel the same way I do. You know, a lot of y'all feel the same way I do, you know, but like I said, if that's what you want to do, if that's something that you are interested in, I say go for it. Like real talk, I think you should go for it because um, we do need, we do need good people in those positions. We need good people um, that want to be DONs and ADONs and administrators and unit managers that won't let the power go to their head and really want to affect change and, and see change and uh, make good things happen within these facilities because it's a rough time to be in management right now. It really is, especially with the staff situation being the way it is and the shortages and people complaining and you know the proper care not being delivered and everything like that. It is a rough, rough time to be an ADON or D-O-N, or a unit manager. Uh, but we know, we know some of them unit managers ain't, and A-Dons and D-O-N ain't worth a dime. Just keep it a stack. I've seen it firsthand. Some of them don't care. I've been in situations where I picked up at a facility and a D-O-N has just told me, keep them alive, and walked out the building. And I can assure you that it was my first and last time picking up at that facility, but her word to me, this is no cap, literally keep them 
alive. That let me know right there the type of mentality or the type of place uh, this facility was. So, I don't know, bro. I just, from my experience, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, boys and girls, that's pretty much it for this video today. Y'all know the countdown to Iron School is still on and popping. As a matter of fact, I got home from work today because y'all know I got like an hour drive. So I got home at about 8.30. Um, I go in, upload the video. And I get a phone call from the, one of the ladies at the program. She called me like 9.30. And I got an attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm irritated. I'm in the middle of sleep. I'm sleeping good. Now, mind you, the area code came up and it popped up and said Lav Livonia, right? Whatever. It said Livonia, and I didn't, I didn't recognize the number. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't recognize it, and I, um, I answered, and she let me know that hey, you have these documents that we needed today by 12 noon. And I'm like. Dude, like I didn't get nothing in no no email saying that I needed this by this time, like nothing. So I guess it was just something that they forgot. But they made it. They called me like my mama was on fire or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad she did. I got up, printed out my sheets, sent them to her. And that was that. I go take my drug test tomorrow once I'm off of work. So it's getting real, y'all. It's getting real. So the countdown is on. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to get back to work. I just want to holler at y'all while I was here. Uh, this is day two of four, and uh, we're getting it in. So I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so you don't miss any of the content. Uh, it's my goal to drop a video once a day, uh, at least for the next uh, couple weeks. So we're going to get it cracking like that. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't do nothing else, get paid. Young nerds get paid, and I bid you adieu. Peace.